what I love about the Yamaha YU S5 upright piano. Welcome to Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. If you're limited in space, but you don't want to be limited with your musical capabilities, then you really need to take a serious look at Yamaha's top of the line YUS5 upright piano. In my humble opinion, I think this is like the Lexus of upright pianos. It is a phenomenal instrument. I'm actually really surprised at how much I'm enjoying the quality of this instrument. Now, a lot of upright pianos are mass manufactured. Yamaha has a line of upright pianos, mass manufactured, very, very good quality, but you know they're, they're made to scale. They make thousands of these. The YUS-5 is only made in the hundreds, and it has a lot of hand-built, hand-crafted uh, craftsmanship built into the piano. For example, the, uh, the wires, the piano strings, are made with German wire, which is considered the finest in the world. The hammers are covered with German felts. The quality of the fel felts really directly affects the quality of the sound. Um, the soundboard, which I'll show you a picture of in the back. The, the soundboard, if you'll notice the, the grain of the wood, it's very tightly packed. These grains are very, very compact, which indicates that the wood is very, very strong. And because the wood is strong, they can actually make it thinner. Why is that important? Well, the soundboard acts as a natural amplifier. So when the hammer strikes the string, the string vibrates, and the soundboard amplifies that sound. The thinner your soundboard, the more flexibly it can vibrate and amplify the sound of the strings, giving you a, a bigger sound than a piano that this size could produce, really comparable to a grand piano, and more color and more subtleties that you can control with, with a thinner, stronger soundboard. So very, very high quality materials, and the action is, is handcrafted, so many wonderful elements in terms of the internal components that go into making the sound of this piano really exceptional. Now some of the some of the design things that I think are really cool, uh, it looks like a standard upright piano, but I like this mahogany trim. I think this is kind of modern elegance. It's very, very cool. The, the music rack can snap out to make it easier to bring the music closer to aging eyes like mine. Lift up these latches and it comes, clicks right back into place. Another thing that I love, especially for younger hands, is the fact that you have this slow motion, slow falling fall board over here. You know, I, I had nightmares as a kid that this part of the piano would come crashing down on my hands by accident. Just just no danger with this particular fallboard. I think these kinds of things should be should be legally mandatory for all pianos of all makes. It just makes a lot of sense, especially if you have a young uh, a young person learning to play the piano. No danger of them ever hurting themselves at the piano. Or older pianos, pianists for that matter as well. So I love that feature. Now on a grand piano, the larger pianos, they typically come with three pedals, which are slightly different in function from most upright, uh, from most upright pianos. So if a piano has three pedals, typically the far right pedal is what we call the sustain pedal. When I push the pedal down, it takes these dampers away from the strings and lets them vibrate freely. So, okay. And as long as I put my foot down, the strings will vibrate freely. If I lift my pedal up, the dampers come back down to stop the strings. The pedal on the far left is the soft pedal. On a grand piano, the, the, the action, the hammers, would shift over slightly so that instead of hitting three strings at once, it will only hit one. In an upright piano, the action will actually be moved closer to the string. So it kind of simulates the same kind of effect. Basically, it's a soft pedal. Makes it easier to play soft. Now, on a grand piano, well, let's, let's talk about upright pianos first. On an upright piano, the middle pedal is usually what we call a, a practice pedal. When I push the middle pedal down, it would bring down a piece of felt all between the hammers and the strings, and it would create this neat, really a very, very soft sound, makes it ideal for practicing late at night when you don't want to disturb your neighbors. On a grand piano, however, the middle pedal is a soft denuda pedal. What is a soft denuda pedal? Well, fortunately, Yamaha has brought the grand piano soft denuda pedal capabilities 
to the y res prime. I mean, that, let me demonstrate the point. So, remember I was talking about the sustain time on the top right? Letting you basically, uh, all the strings, all the, all the keys will sustain while that pedal is held down. And I let it go, all of those notes are stopped. With a soft tenuta pedal, I can selectively have just certain notes held. So I can pl play this, push my soft tenuta pedal in the middle, and then the other notes are unaffected. Now I can still use the sustain pedal in combination with the soft tenuta pedal to clean up the sounds around what's being held down here. So you can get play an effect like this. Play, soft tenuta pedal, and then change. So that is so cool. You're, it, this is a unique feature for the YUS5. I love the fact that I can do my grand piano repertoire on an upright. But what about the practice suite? It's still a good idea. Well, what they've done is they've moved it over to a lever to the left. You just pull the lever out, and you still have your practice sense. Pretty cool. I, I love the fact that they've, they've changed the design to give the benefits of both grand pianos and upright pianos. Now, let's go ahead and, and just listen to how this sounds. Let's, let's play around a little bit with this. So there you have it, the Yamaha YU S5 upright piano, the top of the line instrument, one of the finest examples of an upright piano I've come across anywhere. Perfect for people who have limited space but don't want to limit their musical possibilities. So what do you think? I would love your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. And please subscribe so that we can notify you whenever we have new videos. I'm Hugh Sung for Cunningham Piano. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.